Hello friends, the gremlin is back. Um, I'm gonna make this a quick one. I've just ended last week's vlog and if you haven't watched it yet, um, I don't think I'm feeling that great and I'm cold and got a headache so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a quick opening and then, then I'm gonna drink my really nice hot biscuit tea and read some manga I think. I am also going to pick up a book. So we're just going to briefly show you, I say we, we as in me, me, myself and I, there's one I got till the end, there's one I'm about about. We're going to shift over here and this is my TBR for the month. Say so hello my little friends to my TBR. So this needs to be read by next week because we have the Kingdom of Ash live show and one thing that's not on here that I also need to read by next week is Empire of the Damned. The live show is on the 11th so yeah and I have an audiobook for that, 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 that and that. But I don't have an audiobook for that thickens. That thickens. Nor do I have an audiobook for any of these. And there's some back here as well. You can see back there. So yeah. I've got quite a few books. Thousands of pages to read. And yeah. We'll see. We'll see what my brain wants to do. I did also something that wasn't on my TBR. I will make you fit a prompt. I will have a look at my coin things that I things I need to read for like to gain coins and stuff. But I did read the first volume of Naruto because it was from my library. Um, I'm gonna take these off because I said I said you'll have to do with the glare, but it's annoying me now. Um. I put a hold request on Naruto a while ago now and it hasn't, it didn't come in, it, it did come in but it was at a point where I had loads left to read for a month so I just pushed it back but I pushed it back and then someone just didn't return it for ages <laughs> so yeah and I, I don't know what it is in my library, it doesn't automatically return it. If it's late, it's late. It doesn't just take it off your thing. And I don't know why. But anyway, it came available again. And I didn't want to push it back again. So I bit the bullet. I read the first volume. And now we have a problem. Because it was four stars. And it was really good. And it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> I haven't really read up on Naruto before because I know how long the series is and I know how I got into One Piece and I've still got loads of that to read. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I might not watch the filler seasons episodes because there's a, I think there's a lot of filler in the anime of One Piece. But I definitely do want to continue my reading of that series and we all know if you're into manga at all even if you're not you've probably heard about how long one piece is and so much so that the creator of one piece is actually taking a break from writing it because he's basically admitted that he's lost not the no, i know said lost the plot then but he hasn't he's lost what one piece actually was supposed to be and he wants to find that again so I think even, is he called a mangaka? Is that the person who creates manga? Um, yeah, he's even sort of said that, you know, he might have lost track a bit of what the story was. Because it all started with Luffy wanting to be a pirate king and finding the One Piece. And it's just kind of just escalated into this epic thing that is amazing it is amazing yeah there are some filler stuff in the in the middle of um one piece and it is one of the longer series but it's great <laughs> it really is great i've watched further than i've read 
So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. I don't know where I was with my brain. Things I need to read. The two things I need to focus on the most this week are Kingdom of Ash and Empire of the Damned. I am not on the live show for Kingdom, Kingdom of Ash and I keep saying this for the mass along for Smash and um, Tori from Scottish Last Reads. But I do like to be involved in the conversation and also that would round out the last Sarah J Mass series that I need to finish or catch up with. That will mean once I've done that I will be fully up to date with Sarah J Mass. I'll be ready for whatever she brings out next. And I'm really hoping it's a continuation of the Akatar series. We got a Court of Silver Flames. No, what did we get? A Court of... Is it a Court of Silver Flames? It is, isn't it? Akasf. Akosf? Yeah, it is. People hate saying that, but yeah. Court of Silver Flames. Yeah. Um, we got that and it's just sort of... She carried on with Crimson City, didn't she? And now that that's done, I'm hoping the next book we get is in the Akata series. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. But yeah, that will leave me fully up to date with that. And then to round off the end of Christophelong, I need to read Empire of the Damned, which is all sort of thickens, but I do have the audio for both of those. They will be my focus for the rest of this week. We are on Tuesday, obviously, because yesterday was Monday, Bank Holiday, and I was over at my parents' house. But we still started by completing a manga. So on day one of April, I have actually finished something. So yay for me. Round of applause. And I don't know what we're going to be doing. What else we're going to be doing. Knowing me, I'm probably going to finish both of those quite quickly and end up reading something else. But I really need to not just focus on my audio books in the start of the month and then leave all my physical reads till the end of the month because that then gets really like stressful <laughs> this and this this is from Never's Biting this is why I don't have my own nails it's because I bite my nails but when I've been getting really nervous and stressed recently I've also been biting off my acrylics which I know I don't need anyone to tell me that that's really bad for my nails because I'm well aware of that but it's just a nervous thing that I do. It, I, I can't. I don't know where it's come from. It is what it is. The brain works in mysterious ways of which I'm not trying to decipher because I will go crazy. More crazy than I already am. But also, I've literally just watched the showcase of nowadays because they debut today. And oh my Jesus. I might have a problem. There's another band that I really like. And luckily, they haven't brought out a mini album yet. But when they do, pre-ordering it, because the first two songs that they've got, which is Ooh and Now, the vibes, the vibes are impeccable. I have also recently joined um, Manga Discord, the Dudettes, it was mentioned by Jem from the Creepy Geek, if you know who Jem is, it used to be called um, Bookish Gems. I've joined that and I've been following following the, the girl who runs that. And I've been really getting into like the whole community which has been fun and I've also found a D&D &D discord called the Emerald Collective they also stream on Twitch so I've been watching them and their campaigns so I've been watching a couple of those over the last over this weekend like before I go to bed and they they've been really good I think potentially maybe might have found a local group that I might be able to join they get, well they're just starting they're trying to get like a group of three or four people as a minimum together um to actually play and potentially might be sunday evenings so which would work well for me maybe maybe possibly maybe lots of maybes but yeah other than that i've been playing what have i been playing genshin impact obviously and I've shown my mum a couple of little crochet Genshin Impact characters and I'm going to make a Kieran for her, I think, of her favourite character. Whenever I get back to my crochet, my crocheting is currently laid across the top of my sofa because I did actually continue with that when I was listening to The Price of Faith. But if anybody can recommend something for, like, your hands and your, like, it's like really it's just the thumb because, like, I try not to grip the crochet needle as much, but 
it and I was, well, my fabric, I hold the fabric with this hand and I crochet with this hand. I try not to, to grip it that much, but like, maybe it's just repetitive strain. But if anyone can recommend anything that I can use for my hands when it comes to crocheting that and wrist that would protect them a little bit, that would be great because I'm starting to get a bit of pain because that blanket is huge. It will be huge when I finished. And I think it may have bit enough more than I can chew but what's new? I'm gonna stop yammering at you now because I've yammered at you for 10 minutes goodbye hi guys it is what day is it? <laughs> it is Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday I don't know what day it is I honestly time is but a continuous thing that I know not much about however i do know that i have now started and finished percy jackson and the olympians the lightning thief and this is a brand new cool cover i got the physical copy as soon as i started reading it and i got a couple of chapters in it was on offer on amazon and it's available in the works for like five pound but it's also available on amazon for a fiver so i was like next day deliver it on it Today I've had the worst migraine in the world um, but it's later in the evening now I'm just coming around um, and I listened to the end of this because I listened to most of this yesterday and it was five stars why have I not read this before what is wrong with me there's so many so many things don't answer that so many things I feel like I've wasted so much of my life not reading or reading the wrong thing because this is so good. I really hope that my nephew takes an interest in this because I think he'll really, really enjoy this as well. He's just started reading and I, I gave him a lot of middle grade books that I have read and loved or like, so I, I, I was going to win a haul anyway. So I'm going to see which ones he likes including the Garth Nicks Kiss of the Kingdom series and if he likes them then I know what things I can buy him then for his birthday and Christmas because he's so hard to buy for anyway that's not what you're here for you're here for this and it was so good I did have an inkling about a character in this and what I thought was correct so that was fun but yeah I really wish I could go straight on to book two however I can't because um, I have a TBR so for Tomes and Treasures this fulfills the prompt of what did I use this for magic missile and um, magic as a weapon I have also read a couple of things I can't remember what I've told you about and what I haven't so I've read Naruto which was a manga I read that on Monday which was the 1st of April so that counts I don't know what I could count that for towards the magical not magical readathon this is not magic, the tomes and treasures readathon I'm just having a quick look now I think it can be male author that would get me a copper coin so I could use Naruto for that I have also then read Moving is Murder which was a cause of mystery by Sarah Rosette and that one fulfills the Tomes and Treasures prompt for a book set in a village because it, it's kind of like a small suburb area, suburban area, suburban, suburban area in America so it's kind of like a small little village so I'm counting that for that so I've got my background, I've got my environment upbringing, which is a village, so I've done that one, and I've got my spell slot. And now I'm moving on to Kingdom of Ash, which is my alignment, which is chaotic good. So I just started that. Um, I do also have to read Empire of the Vampire, which won't count for any of my character prompts. It didn't fit into anything for my character prompts, but it will 
get me some coins for something. I don't know, I'll look at those prompts in a bit. But yeah, that's what I need to read next. Um, so yeah. I have some plans this weekend. I was going to be going to my friend's house, but he's working this weekend. So that's been moved back to next weekend. This weekend is going to be a full weekend of reading. Tori has birthday sprints at the weekend on Saturday. Becca has Sunday sprints. And then I'm off on Monday and on Thursday. So Monday I have my first counselling session in the morning. Which will probably drain the ever loving shit out of me. So that's going to be fun. But I will come home and I'll be doing some readers Prince of Victoria, Which will hopefully just boost me a bit. And I think Sayopan and Emma might be coming on them as well. So that will be fun. So yeah. Those are the those are the things that I need to be doing. And Monday is next week because I don't know why I told you about that. But anyway. I'm really happy with what I'm reading so far for Tomes and Treasures. I feel like I'm... I know I sound unhappy. But it's because I'm just exhausted. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what I've read so far. I feel like this month is going to be a way more productive month like prompt-wise than last month. I'm just really glad that I wasn't in a particular team last month because I feel like I would have just let the team down. And I have decided that last month Marvelathon will be the last Marvelathon that I run. We won't come back next year. It's just a lot to run by yourself. Some people can handle it, some people can't. I'm one of those people that can't. Um, if I'm not really now ever running a readathon with another person in the future. I don't have any plans for that, but you've been one of this whole clip. Never mind. Um, I don't have any plans for that, but if there was any any readathon that interested me, a theme that I could run with another person, I would do that. But I just feel like it was a lot to run by myself, and I just yeah, I'm trying to do things that aren't like. Self care guys, if it becomes more of a chore than a hobby and something you're enjoying, then it's really not worth it. And although I absolutely loved like seeing the competition between the guys and just everyone getting involved, I loved that bit of it. It's just yeah, the winning it by myself was a bit hard, so Marvelathon won't be going back once I've released the scores for this last round and uh, we'll be deleting the twitter i had a fun three years of doing this like three rounds so it's just yeah just gonna enjoy that that we did i'm gonna go and grab some food and um turn this light off because it's starting to my eyes again and just put on an audiobook and listen to some kingdom rush I left my phone at my brother's place It's not my fault, don't walk away Cause I don't quite know what you're running from Cause all my friends they think I'm fun You take yourself too seriously I, 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 I don't wanna hear you say we I'm, I'm Cause you're the one who's going home To be all alone Watching cooking shows You take yourself too seriously I, 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 I'm fine the clips and I thought I would come in here and update you on my days week so far because I don't know what I've updated on this vlog and what I haven't. I have got four hours and five minutes left of Kingdom of Ash and that fulfills my alignment prompt for Tons and Treasures which is a book with orange and yellow on the cover. 
I have also been collecting some serious coinage. So yesterday, I watched three episodes of Attack on Titan and Jesus Christ on a bicycle. The pain, <laughs> the stress, the palpitations. Literally, if you had a heart monitor on me, you would have been severely concerned about my health. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I want I, I've only got the two long special episodes left of that and I wasn't ready yesterday. I'd I'd been through too much, I just wasn't ready. So <laughs> I decided to flick to fairy tale because I thought to myself, oh wow, yay, this will be a fun good old fancy full time and you know, we've got like stupid characters, like we've got like, typical sort of like fire and ice you know what fairy tale is, it follows a guy called Natsu who um, is part of a guild called fairy tale and a girl called Luce who wanted to be part of that and they're all wizards with different powers and different so like Natsu is like a fire dragon, like a salamander and he's super powerful and he still hasn't realised how powerful he is and then we've got Grey who is ice, so fire and ice don't get along and the way that they argue all the time is just ridiculous because you could tell they care about each other but it's a thing and then we've got Ursa who's like this really strong woman and she just like throws her arms out and she could just change her armour and she's just super strong and then we've got Happy. Happy is, yeah, Happy makes me happy. He is like a flying cat that's blue. And this was just like, okay, this is like fun ragtag group of heroes that have called themselves like the strongest group in the guild and they're gonna go out on these quests and just have fun. No, no bitch, it made me cry. <laughs> I was just sat there like, why? Why am I crying? A fairy tale. This was supposed to be a fun time. However, I did watch 13 episodes of that, so I now do. I have accrued 16 coins because watching an episode gets you one coin. I can't remember if it's copper or silver. I think it's copper. But watching an episode of a show gets you a coin. Either way, I've got 16 coins from that. And finishing Kingdom of Ash will get me another prompt finished. And then I'm going to go on Empire of the Damned, which doesn't fulfil a prompt, but I will, I will, it will get me some coins. It will get me a coin, I think it's silver, for a male MC. But it does have gold foil on it, gold foiling on it so I think I'm probably just going to use it for a book of gold foiling on it instead. So it gets me a gold instead of a copper. Obviously. I say I want to, but do I want to? I don't know if I want to do this to myself, but I do want to finish Attack on Titan today. I did promise Jem that it was going to be finished like last week before the end of March. But you know, mental health in it. I also did have a few physical reads that I needed to finish. So I do apologise Jem, I wholeheartedly apologise for breaking my promise, but I will finish it. I'll say it by the end of the year. <laughs> no, I'll finish it in the next couple of days. Because I do have tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. I do have Monday off work. And I do have Thursday off work. They were primarily, 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 they were primarily reading days. But I may use them to watch some episodes. Because it gets me some quick coinage. So, yeah. And there's a few episodes of the series that over the mini <coughs> 15 series that I've started on Crunchyroll um, that I need to sort of try and catch up with. But anyway, I'm going to head off now and do some more reading before these sprintitos for the chat a bit and I will see you all shortly. Oh, also, I have just watched the announcement video for May the TV Abbey with you, Readathon, that is being hosted by the little Rebecca Fowl. Obviously, if you don't know who she is, you need to go check out her channel. I'll leave a link down below. I'm so excited. Oh, I've already printed off the um, board, and I'm already, um, I, I might not print off all the prompts. I'm just going to do the rolls and then print off the prompts for the rolls. That I choose if that makes any sense. So there's still some planning I need to do around that. I need some all aware we're all at the beginning of April, but for once I'm planning ahead of time. So cheer me on for that. But I'm gonna go now and eat my yogurt and jelly and I will see you all soon. I 
left my phone at my brother's place It's not my fault, don't walk away Cause I don't quite know what you're running from Cause all my friends, they think I'm fun you Hello friends, we are now on Sunday So I'm coming in to close the vlog And I think I've done okay for the first week in April We're just gonna go through what I've read <laughs> for the Tomes and Treasures readathon. So I have read Percy Jackson and I've used that to get my magic missiles which I'm using for a spell slot and that is the prompt was magic as a weapon. I then finished Kingdom of Ash which was my alignment which is chaotic good and it was orange and yellow on the cover and then for my upbringing environment I chose a village and it was a book set in that environment and I chose Moving is Murder by Sarah Rosette and that's set in like a little oh, village area a small collection of houses in an area <laughs> so I was going to use one of my mainly needlepoint cause of mysteries because it's set in Maine which is like a small like a small it's like a small town in Maine but I decided to just go with moving in murder because it literally is just like a, a like a, a smaller setting and then coinage wise I have done quite a lot I have earned like 20 gold and 10 copper so far that I've actually counted. Got a couple of platinum because I've played a video game which I've played Strange Horticulture on my computer and I've also for the last three days played Genshin Impact on my phone. I've read something in hardcover format which is what am I counting for that? Kind of what I'm counting for that. Still counting um EOTD for that and I've just started that. Listened to another cozy mystery on audio which was murder in an English in the English countryside by Sarah Rosette. Just finished that and dance like a kid again. I've done that twice because stray kids and eighties and there's a couple of other bands that have recently like debuted the song called Nowadays and the first song out is Now and they've got a song called Uwe and I've been playing them like over and over again and then there's also been listening to Tan and Pure and Harmony and just they're all vibes all vibes and I'm hitting them down I'm totally down for it so yeah I've done quite well with the coinage accruage as well so we're going getting on to a good start like Kiara is on it like a car bonnet and we're just we're vibing. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, feeling fine, funky, funky, fresh and fabuloso. But what I do need to do is focus some more on my actual main prompts in building my character. Which I, I totally can do, but um I've uh done Kingdom of Ash of the Life so I'm I'm on the sprints with Tori tomorrow. So I will be doing some more reading then and I'm thinking of maybe focusing my EOTD read tomorrow. I want something that's, I'm going to say like, like mindless but it's not mindless if that makes sense. Like with EOTD I'm going to need to focus on specific plot points and stuff and possibly have to take notes and things like that for the live show on Thursday. So I think today I might switch to Iris Kelly Doesn't Date so I can get my actual race ticked off and do a tiefling which prompt is LGBTQIA plus rep while I crochet. Um, I think that might be it. I'm going to do that. But yeah, so far I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot better this week than I have done in recent weeks. So that's all positive. I've got a couple of videos to edit tomorrow so I'm going to try and get an early start. We don't start sprints until 12 and the Kingdom of Ash live show is at 7.30 I think. I'm not on it but I do want to watch it and Tori is actually on it so the sprints will be stopping before that, if that makes sense. So we're probably going to get a good few hours in. I'm on with Saya Pan and Emma tomorrow as well on the sprints. So we'll, we'll see where we go. 
we'll see what happens but this week has been quite productive I've read more than what I've said I've read I think but we'll, it is what it is I need to start on points and shit but thank you very much for watching if you do like me and you want to see more of me please like and subscribe to all the good stuff and if you're here and you want to let me know you're here if you don't have anything to say please leave a black heart it's very much appreciated and until next time enjoy what you're reading what you're not doing and I'll see you all very soon I left my phone at my brother's place